Welcome to Papa's Workshop. Well, in today's video, we're celebrating Father's Day. And to do that, we're going to do this quick little sign that says, Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Now, today I'm using a Fox Alien Basic Edition machine to do it with the upgraded 300 watt spindle. In addition to that, I'm throwing in a 90 degree V-bit that has a quarter inch shank. So this is gonna be a lot of fun and I wanna show you how we did it today. So let's get started. A day in the shop with Papa in Papa's workshop. To support my channel, please go to patreon.com slash Papa's workshop. In today's video, we're gonna do a real simple sign using a basic edition of the Fox Alien with the upgraded spindle. The sign that I'm gonna be making today is gonna to be real simple. I'm gonna come over here and I'm selecting a two color acrylic, which is the black on top with the white underneath. And this is gonna be nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. The thickness does not really matter because I'm not carving it all the way through, but the thickness of the material is 0.25. So that is the parameters that we're gonna be using for this part. And as far as the text, I'm just gonna come down and find a real simple text and I'm gonna type in happy. And we'll just slide this up and get it out of the way for a moment. And then I'm gonna come back to the same text. And I'm gonna do Father's Day. It would help to be able to spell it correctly. There we go. Now I'm going to take this first one and I'm going to rotate it. Grab this little handle and rotate just about like that. And then I want to make this larger. I think that looks good. We'll do the same thing to the Father's Day. We'll rotate this and slide it up into this area. And then we're going to make it larger as well by grabbing this corner handle and sliding it up this way. And actually I can do the same thing. I'm gonna slide it down this direction also just a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Now I don't wanna have this big white void. So I'm gonna come over here to the graphics. We'll type in Father's Day Designs. And let's see what we come up with. We actually come up with five. I think I'm gonna use this little guy. And we'll make this as a fill. And let's slide that right up into this area. Let's make it a little bit larger. Put it right there. So there's the sign. Very simple, very easy to be able to do. Let's go ahead and highlight everything. We'll change the depth to about 0 0.05. That will be plenty deep. That takes care now of all the different components and our sign is completely set up. As far as what it's gonna look like, we can hit the detail over here. We can see that looks very nice. These little lines in here i'm curious to see how they're going to carve because they're very thin so that's going to be fun and this i know is going to carve just fine the bit that we're going to be using is a 90 degree v bit as far as the time to be able to carve this we'll hit simulate and we'll take a look And this is gonna take about 23 minutes. Now we know we're carving this down 0 0.05 of an inch. Let's take a look at the cut settings. This is running at 40 inches per minute with a 12 inch per minute plunge rate. And we're doing this at 0 0.04 inches on uh, per pass. That it will be fine because what we'll be able to do is make two passes out of this and that Last path is only gonna be cutting 0 0.01, and that should be a good cleanup pass. But what I do want to do is increase the speed. So I'm gonna go over here to the manual settings, and we're going to increase the speed to 80 inches per minute. We're gonna leave everything else alone. 
And now if we simulate it, you'll notice that our speed will be cut just about in half. So we're down to 17 minutes, so a little bit quicker. So I'm not gonna do anything else with that at this point. I think that will look just fine. Now I'm using the 300 watt spindle. It's already installed in the machine. And I also have the 90 degree V-bit installed as well. And I'm going to be using the glue and the tape method to be able to secure the project to the waste board. And this is a real easy, easy way to be able to secure the material. And it does work fantastic. The best thing that I like about it is that you don't have to worry about any clamps getting in the way and you do not have to worry about hitting it, especially the metal clamps. With the glue and tape method, everything is out of the way. So I'm also going to be uh, having a 15% discount for the Starbond glue that I'm using. And this is the Starbond thick glue. You can also use the thin or the medium and that would work just fine. But this is what I'm using today, the Starbond thick glue. Now the other thing that I'll do, now that I have the glue onto the uh, waste board, I'll take the accelerator and spray just a little bit onto the project board itself, and then I'll be ready to be able to stick it down right in place. All I really need to do is just hold it there for just a moment, and it's going to be secure and ready to be able to carve. It really doesn't get much easier than that. And quite frankly, I think it's actually faster than being able to secure it with the clamps. In addition, because this is a painted surface, I don't have to worry about the paint getting scratched off with the clamps. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the homing sequence. And I'm using the universal G-code sender to be able to operate the um, Fox Alien Basic Edition machine today. And again, this is the upgraded 300 watt spindle. I'm also using the quarter inch uh, shank, 90 degree V-bit to be able to do this car of the day. So this is gonna be a good test just to see how well it works. Now with the universal G-code sender open, I'm gonna click the browse. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll over and find the file. Now, when I save this, I just saved it as an untitled uh, G code and there it is right there. So I'll go ahead and open it and then we'll see it right up here in this window. So now I'm actually ready to be able to carve. But first I always like to hit the visualization and just take a look to make sure that I have the right file and everything is positioned the way that I expect it to be. And here's a look at that visualization. The yellow line is actually where the spindle is sitting. The blue you can see exactly where it's going to be traveling to be able to do the carving. So at this point now, I'm ready to be able to hit send and it will begin the carve. Now I'm not changing anything at all. This is the actual sound of the spindle doing the carving. That little extra vibration that you're hearing is actually the tape that's hitting the fan. And I didn't realize that until I was listening to this video. But that is it. This is an extremely quiet, quiet machine, and the operation is fantastic. You literally cannot hear it hardly at all in the next room. Now this is a quick look at the universal G-code sender of how you can actually monitor the progression of the card. Now if you look carefully, you can see that little blue tape up there on the left hand side of the spindle. That's what's making that extra noise. Now I want you to take a look at the fine detail that it adds in. It's doing really good. I'm very impressed with this bit and with this spindle. The CNC machine by Fox Alien, this basic edition, is a very capable machine on doing signs like this.
So here's the finish line. All completed. The only thing I've done so far is just vacuum up some of the uh, dust. And I wanted you to see it before I took it off of the waste board. To be able to remove it from the waste board, I just slip a little putty knife underneath the edge and start lifting it gently. I want to be able to show you just how well this glue and tape method holds. All you have to do is just take your time, work it slowly, and you can hear that tape beginning to release, and then it will go ahead and pop loose. No need to rush this, but you can see that it holds extremely well. Well, I'm very happy with how the Fox Alien Basic Edition CNC machine worked today. This upgraded 300 watt spindle did a fantastic job using the 90 degree V-bit with that quarter inch shank. This is a fantastic combination that I think everyone should give a try. And again, happy Father's Day and thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.